Hi everybody, welcome back to another video from Adam. Six month surge anniversary done and completed. Um, I am, uh, I really don't know what the week is, but six months out. Um, not to the day, of course. I did have the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Last year, 2013, November 5th. And uh, uh, today is uh, May, something, May 29th, probably, 2014. Which is a Thursday, which is good because then tomorrow is Friday. Of course, it's been a short week. It is the Memorial Week, uh, or following Memorial Day. So it's been a short week. I did have a, a great Memorial Weekend. Uh, for once, it went by slow and didn't zing on by. So, uh, Anyways, uh, I don't have a lot of organization for this video, and I don't really care to. I like to just kind of shoot from the hip with it and just kind of say what comes to my mind like a normal conversation. <clears throat> anyways, I am about 90 pounds down. Uh, through this whole process. Uh, my highest weight was about 282, 283 I did see on one uh, documented, um, that's one of those uh, yearly uh, health checkups that I got through work you have to have to kind of help keep your insurance premiums down um, as low as you can go and kind of do anything you can do to get them babies down. So anyways, uh, uh, I'm just thankful to have insurance. Uh, if, in fact, my VSG was pretty much all paid for uh, by insurance, not by a grant, if anything. And of course, I do pay my pre you know pay my premiums a month, but um, there wasn't a lot of um, there wasn't a lot of uh, uh, copay, so to speak, or anything like that. I did have a little bit of the doctor's fees that I had to pay, and then of course, you had the extras like the the, the psych eval and, and and sleep study and things of that nature. <coughs> anyway, so uh, today. Um, how am I feeling today, both physically, mentally, emotionally, physically, <laughs> haven't felt better. In fact, I am just about the weight I was when I had lost a lot of weight in college. Um, here's the difference. The weight uh, I lost in college, I think I was more proud of because I, not that I haven't earned what I have now, but because um, I was content and very happy with my uh, exercise um, that I was doing. I was I was lifting some weights hardcore with some buddies. Um, I was getting fit, I was getting strong, and I was dropping the weight at the same time. It was a, it was a, it was a good deal. Uh, I remember at that time I didn't really watch so much what I ate. I know I consumed a little bit more water, um, but I remember I was still getting some uh, steak stuff, burritos and stuff from Taco Bell, which were good. <laughs> I like those, but uh, anyways, I was still dropping. I was just building so much muscle, I was dropping weight. Um, how that is uh, in contrast with today is that I've dropped a lot of weight thanks to my sleeve restricting my eating massively. Um, of course, in this honeymoon, it's going to do that uh, honeymoon phase, or uh, yeah, I think I said it right. Um, but I'm not as happy with it because my uh, exercise routine isn't even uh, half of what it was when I was in college and dropped a lot of weight. So, um, you know that's something I'm still struggling with to to get going, and uh, I'm trying to stay positive that I'm I'm just going to keep chipping away at any little bit of exercise I do, even a couple times a week is something. Um, I do have a sedentary job, so I sit, I sit for eight hours, sometimes ten hours a day, and of course I get up every uh, hour and I try to do a little bit of exercise here and there. But um, we just got a puppy, and uh, a little golden golden retriever, and he needs to go out every hour, hour and a half, and so. To use the bathroom, and so I find myself spending 15 minutes each hour just to come out here and bring them walk around and use the bathroom. Well, about that time that that's done, I should be getting back to work, probably chewing up a little bit more work time than I should be. Um, and so I don't, I don't, I didn't bust out any exercising, so um, that kind of lessened a little bit. But now, yesterday I did. We have this road that kind of circles around our house. I'll just show you guys a little. You can see a piece of this road. Nothing big. It is. I can't even see it now. Anyways, a road, but it circles all the way around our house in this nice big circle, okay? And um, I went out there yesterday, and I was just, I was, I, I was motivated, I was in the moment, and I just shot out the door, and I got to walking on this road, and it's about the whole circle, which looks like um, uh, a large version of a um, track for a stadium. <coughs> That's about the shape that it's in. <coughs> I ran that puppy. Boy, I ran one full, complete lap, which is about three-quarter of a mile. And then um, one of the straightaways, again, on the set. Well, the first lap, I got the straightaway. The second lap, I got the whole entire lap, which was a big victory to me. Um, I just went with it. I just kept 
pushing it and keep my, trying to keep my mind in the game, and I and I got it. So I felt really good yesterday um, that I uh, that I did that. Although, as you guys have heard me say before, I just I just didn't hold on to the success of it, the reward of it, as much as I should have. You know, I got to start milking these things a little more. I don't know if just that's the mental aspect of this or what, but I just let it go so quick. I don't know. Anyway, so I was pretty happy about that. But again, my 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 fitness routine now is still nothing compared to what it was you know, 10 years ago, um, we don't have a gym where I'm at, we don't have a nice gym to go to, um, it, it doesn't even have a, a good set of, of weight machines or free weights and stuff, let alone not having a pool or a, a jacuzzi or a beach view, <laughs> as some folks have, um, so it's really disappointing, I, you know, I live in a town of about 9,000, and I was, uh, hopefully some point in day, unless the city's blocking it, some point in day, somebody will build a gym, because I'll join up. I mean, I gotta pay 50 bucks a month time, I'll join up. It's just, you know, when you're sitting in this situation uh, and you're looking for outlets um, to exercise, a, a gym is a good is a good resource. Now, it bends it's a spring and pushing into summer here before too long. You know, you got a lot of outdoorsy things you can do. And, you know, the family and I, we took a bike trip, trip the other day down what we call the Katy Trail, which was an old railroad that, that ran through the state of Missouri. And it's been, you know, converted. The rails were pulled up and it was converted into a kind of a trail. And we, we took a part of the trail that was real nice looking, trees were real tall and overgrown and it was just a real good, comfortable ride for, for us all and, and, and some exercise and some sunburn on top of it of course, but it's a good time. So um, anyways, exercise still still struggling with to, to um, get it where I wanted to be. Um, uh, nutrition, uh, fair, fair to good, not great. Um, <clears throat> But um, even though I still watch what I eat and I'm still selective and I still can't eat very much of it, um, I find myself thinking about if this was a year and a half down the road, how much of this that I have right in front of me would I go ahead and take down? Because right now, I love the taste of it. and But my stomach's saying, oh my God, it's too much. You know, it's not even really there, but it's like it's getting to be too much. Let's stop where you're at so you know better. What happens when you can eat more? You know, you're going to eat more, you know. And um, it just makes you think about that willpower. You, you know, you're sitting there thinking, Man, if I was a year and two years out, I would not have the willpower to stop right now. It's kind of what sometimes what I think. And I'm saying, you know, if, if I can't, if I know now that I can't stop, then if, I, if something doesn't change, I'm not stopping in the future. So it's just really a, a difficult thing to get a hold of because you just know that your sleeve is what's helping you. Because again, if I didn't have the sleeve, I'd still be struggling today because I can still feel in my mind things are still, you know, somewhat the same. Maybe not. 100% the same. Things have gotten better. The, 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 the food choices we make, uh, eating the salads, a little bit more vegetables, um, fruits aren't as much. Um, I find a lot of fruits very, um, uh, they're kind of sugary, but a lot of fruits for me turn into gas just almost immediately, and I mean gas in the stomach. I can eat an apple and, um, you know, and fill it in, and all of a sudden just feel it kind of bloat up a little bit or something or start passing through. I'm not sure what the deal is with those. Um, bananas don't do it so bad, although they have a different kind of effect. Um, strawberries, I can't stand the seeds of those in my tea, that it just kills me. A cantaloupe I love and things of that nature, but it also has a, a fair amount of gas. So you're trading good nutrition and for a little bit of bloating and discomfort. So it's just, you know, where do you find the good medium to that? Um, <clears throat> a buddy of mine didn't give me a work, he gave me, a, this, this fellow had the lap band, he gave me a book that uh, Bariatric Fusion, I guess, I don't know if they sell it or give it out, he said he had a couple of them to where it was a, a meal plan. Uh, for bariatric patients, and if you're a, um, a um, pre-op or something, you might go to bariatricfusion.com. Of course, they sell multivitamins. That's where I get mine, and they sell other shakes and things of that nature. And, and they're not super high priced, and, and they're they're definitely well worth it. I would say, especially being able to um, tolerate the taste of some of those as opposed to some of the other um, chewables you might get. But um, you might check that out and see if you can find that book. It's something called like a the Life Diet or something like that. But it is tailored to bariatric people and it gives examples of what a day may look like when you're four weeks out, ten weeks out, something like that. So you might look into that. Anyways, I got a copy of that and it's pretty neat and I'm going to start looking into it and see. Um, it even has maintenance stage on there, what, what maintenance may look like and how many calories you may be eating. You know, so kind of neat there. But uh, nutrition is still, still working on that and um, I think most of it comes from just not knowing what to buy. And once you do buy it, you know, how do you cook it? Um, so... <clears throat> Those are some of the small struggles I have with the nutrition part of it. Um, I haven't really got my nose stuck in a book that teaches me how to, to, to cook up certain vegetables and zucchinis or squashes and things of that nature. Um, 
we eat a lot of chicken, of course, and we, then we do some beef. We like to cut up some beef, certain kind of steak part that we get and cut it up and put in a salad, which is, is wonderful. Toss in a little bit of um, sliced up boiled eggs, and then you throw in your olives and a little bit of your, your uh, fresh mushrooms. You know, you wash them off and put in some fresh mushrooms. You know, you just make it, just put a plethora of things, whatever, you know. Of course, you don't put the croutons in there, nothing like that, and, and put up some diced peppers. You can make a nice little meal just like that and um, <clears throat> not be taking a lot of calories. So <clears throat> we've been doing a lot of that, too. Um, as far as sweets is going, I'm not taking in a whole lot of sweets. I do occasionally. Um, I had, uh, when we went to pick up our puppy, I did have a, a small portion of a, of a frozen custard, which I've never had. Um, of course, I did not eat the cone. Um, I barely got a little bit off the top and tossed it under the vehicle, so I didn't even eat the entire cone, but just enough to uh, get some good, good couple bites out of it, um, which still jacks you up in your mind because you're like, if I'm eating this now and just a small portion, what am I going to do in a year and a half? And, um, you know, just my final thought to that is just that um, if I don't, I'm in big trouble. If I don't have the exercise down, um, and, and that's really the big thing, <clears throat> if I don't have the exercise down and I'm not and, and I'm not eating healthy, I could be in big trouble. In very big trouble. Uh, I'm not in trouble right now. I'm feeling good. 90 pounds down, uh, weigh about 190, and I started out about 282, so um, 282, 283, something like that. But, um... So I'm feeling good. I mean, I'm, I'm moving and stuff like that. It's just, it, it, I just, I want to see it permanently. And I'm, I'm trying to get my mind wrapped around it permanently and see it positively. And, and just, and, and really, um, I've been trying to tell myself in the mirror and stuff that I will be successful long term with this. And not just short term, which I knew I would be. So, um, but it's just trying to get those habits continued and strengthened and, and better. So, um, that's really uh, kind of what's been on my mind. Um. Let's see what time am I okay so my last little thing here was uh, that yesterday you know um, a person at work made a comment about you know hey you, every time I see you, you're looking better and better <clears throat> and um, they, they, they said you got to be close to goal and stuff and I said well I'd like to lose another 30 pounds 30 pounds you know and they were they were being very not like uh, disgusted or nothing but like shocked you know and which on one hand made me feel good but at the same time kind of I, I, I found myself almost being a little angry with myself because I don't feel like I deserved that I don't feel like I'm deserving of my, uh, as well deserving of, of those compliments because I don't feel like I have really been fighting hard enough in this to get to get those compliments. And so um, I struggled with that yesterday. I, th I think it's kind of what set me on fire a little bit to just go out and run and, and do something. That way I do deserve those compliments because, yeah, I I'm doing a little bit. Most of it's the sleeve that's really helping me along, obviously, with the restrictions. And I'm doing some exercise along the way. But am I really doing it, it more than what I did previously? Probably not. Maybe slightly. So um, I had a hard time accepting that one. And, and it, it's never really been like that. But for some reason, this time it was. I just had a real hard time swallowing that and so um it's really been on my mind um and i hope that doesn't continue i'd, I'd like to just be able to take confidence and be like thank you you know because um things have changed and i have ch have changed some things but i just don't think it's enough i don't even think it's close enough i i think i just need to keep i, I just really got to keep focusing a little bit maybe start writing some of this dumb stuff down and, and creating a better plan i'm gonna find myself in a world of trouble so no gains still been losses it's much slower much slower and i'm thinking six months out I would like to drop down another 30 pounds. Um, I think this, the sleeve, I've lost about 66, 65, 60%, I think, uh, if I added up right of my, of my weight, which when you look at the um, statistics for that, around that is what a sleeve is going to do for you, they say, of the excess body weight, 60, and there's, oh my gosh, there's tons of different numbers, somewhere range between 60 to 70% of your body weight. So I think the rest of it, I think the sleeve's done what it said it would probably do if you had to do it alone almost. Um, but I think the rest of it's really up to me to get it to get it in gear and make it happen. So, anyways, thanks guys for for uh, checking in with me and um, uh, taking in another video. So um, I'll keep you informed, let you know how things are going, and hopefully next video I can say that I have been earning my compliments.